And so somebody pulls out their phone at your, on your first date and even checks their messages. See Unless later. he's a doctor right. on call and he sort of has to and he tells you up front. Well, if he's a doctor. <laughs> 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 Dating in today's world seems to be so frustrating for so many people. And you would think that because we're so virtually connected mm -hmm. that it would get easier, but it just doesn't seem to be that way. How can we help couples make smarter decisions when they're dating? Great question. Dating is modern, sure, but romance isn't. Romance is mm. old fashioned and people have to remember that while we have all these awesome tools in our modern society, online dating, texting, Facebooking, so many new ways to meet people in an instantaneous matter, you don't have to respond instantaneously. Mm. You can wait to respond to a man 24 hours, two days. Just because he texted you doesn't mean you have to write back right away. And I think uh, speaking of texting, you know, I you lose tone in a text. You can't, oh, yeah. you simply cannot have a conversation. I mean, text is for look. I'm running late, or you know, how does like Tuesday at five work yeah, for you? But he's asking you out. He's Absolutely. asking you out. If he asks yeah. you out via text, or on Facebook, or on Match, or online, or whatever it is, it's okay. Right. But if they're just conversing with you via text, like you said, it's tone not, wise, forget it. Not a place to have a conversation. Yeah. Just no. No, keep no, no, it no. limited. Don't respond back really unless it's about a date. Mm -hmm. It's logistics like you said, I'm running late, where are the directions to your place? Or, hey, does coffee work for you? You know, looking forward to our date. A man can text you as many times as he wants. And speaking of mystery, like you said, I mean, um, not, you know, like we said, we the reveal ourselves. Key. So it's not, but you know, if you're just getting to know someone, you know, the last thing you kind of need to know about each other is exactly what you're doing, you know, where yeah. you are on Foursquare, don't, don't or what you're doing on Twitter, where you are. or uh, you know, I would think thing. friending each other's friends Age immediately yeah. on yeah. Facebook. Yeah, you and like, I were oh, talking stuff. before about something it's that's stalkerish. critically important with this too, mm -hmm. is when you're talking about digital media and you're talking about dating digitally, you don't have a chance then to check in with your gut instincts. Mm -hmm. You don't have a chance to follow your intuition. Mm -hmm. And that's such a big part of my platform and such a big part of my message is that if you're looking for the perfect partner, if you're looking for your mate, you have to be in touch with what you're feeling first before, this is an inside job, before you go outside and look for somebody outside. So really one of the things that I tell people all the time is if somebody pulls out their phone at your, on your first date, and even checks their messages. See Unless later. he's a doctor right. on call and he sort of has to and he tells you up front. Well, if he's a doctor. So sometimes they'll tell you right up front and you'll know if it's if it's yeah. something strange because really they really look at it and they're like focused on you. They're looking at it for a second and they put it away. You know? And also I see often couples or I'll see an individual come in and say, my boyfriend and I had a huge fight, and I'll try to dig in a little. Well, what was that like? Where were you? What happened? Well, well, it was all on text. How do you know what he's meaning? So, yeah. He lost the tone. That's right. Yeah. So, so, yeah. and you yeah. really need to know how do people fight? You know, how do they mm -hmm. do? They do people fight fairly? And what what is his tone when he's? you know arguing with you and 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 is it is it a safe place to be and if you're and if you're reading it on text how do you know practice not responding less is more you don't have to post your relationship status online that's a danger zone let him post his relationship status online if you're single take out the relationship concept altogether that men and women are romantically different and in even in a digital world even that we have technology at our fingertips and everything is so 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 available to us we still should not be so available to men you see, you hit on something there. Too. I think you have to, like, so depends on where you are in your relationship. Rocky, right? what stage you're at? Because if this is your boyfriend, you're exclusive, you know what? Yeah, you just may want to respond right away because you want him to respond right away, right? right? But if it's someone, like you said, that you're not exclusive with, you know, he's probably dating other people. I hope you're dating other people, exactly too, if you're not right. exclusive. So you know what? Maybe you're on a date with someone else. You're certainly not going to pull out your phone and respond to his text. So again, in context. Is all this information, is all this technology, is all this instant gratification of connecting, communicating with people, is it killing the old-fashioned art of romance? Yeah. Right. And maybe we shouldn't be letting that happen. And that may be something especially women have to think about, that if you want to be romanced, if you want to have that experience, and I think, I think a lot of women still do, right. you have to put down your cell phones and you got to get off Some Facebook. Boundaries and you've got to 
let it happen organically. Yeah. So it sounds like dating, in any way you slice, it's kind of tough. And technology just seems to make it tougher. So if people want to actually be successful, they need to put their phones down, step off Facebook, get away from you know the instant, always available connection with another person, have some boundaries, and actually authentically connect with another human being. And then you can decide if someone's good or not so good for you.